Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential problem? Here, let's use two methods. The fourth method from here. Let represent four is to power eight is a letter. So let a be equals to four is to power eight, and also let b be equal to eight raised to power four. Then what we have here now, I'm written as a over b, then minus b over a. Then here, when we bring this together and find the SCM, SCM here is ab. Then b goes in ab, that's a, a times a, that will give us a square, then minus. Here also, A goes here, that's A cancel A, B times B, that gives us B squared. Then, the next step, we can replace what we have as A and what we have as B. So, here, this becomes 4 raised to power 8, then, square minus also 8 raised to power 4. Then square, then over AB, that's 4 raised to power 8, times 8 raised to power 4. Then from here, we apply the law of indices. We have 2 raised to power n, 3 raised to power n, same thing as 3 raised to power nn. So this power multiplied, and here this gives us 4 raised to power 16 then minus 8 raised to power 8 then divided by here we have the same thing as 4 raised to power 8 times 8 raised to power 4 then in the next step let's reduce this to base 2 each of these so they give us 4 is 2 square then raised to power 16 then we have minus here 8, we have 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 8, then divided by here we have 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power 8 as well, then times also 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 4. Then what we have now also this power multiplied. We have 2 raised to power 32 minus 2 raised to power 24, then divided by here give us 2 raised to power 16, then times 2 raised to power 12. Then next step from here 32 here we can write it as 8 plus 24. That is, here we can have 2 raised to power 8 plus 24, then minus 2 raised to power 24, then divided by, here, we can apply the law of indices, a raised to power n times a raised to power n, the same as a raised to power n plus n. Then here, this gives us 2 raised to power 16 plus that is here we have this separated from what we have here we can reverse it this way that is here this can give us 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 24 then minus 2 raised to power 24 then all divided by here we have 2 raised to power 16 plus 12, we have 28. Then, from here, we have 2 raised to the power 24 common. When we factor it out, this is also raised to the power 24. Into bracket, 2 raised to the power 8. Then minus 1 less here. Then divided by, here we have 2 raised to the power 28. Then, what we have now from here, 
you can write this again as 2 raised to the power 24 into bracket. 2 raised to the power 8 means 2 multiplied itself 8 times. That's 256. Then minus 1. Then divided by 2 raised to the power 28. And from here, what we have from when we have 3 raised to the power n over 3 raised to the power n, we can as well write this as 1 over 3 raised to the power n minus n. That is, we can apply this here and 2 raised to the power 24 over 2 raised to the power 28. When we write it like that, so here we have 256 minus 1, that's 255. Then over, that will be 2 raised to the power 28 minus 24 now. Then, which will give us 255 divided by 2 raised to the power, here we have 4. Then 2 raised to the power 4. Is 2 multiplied itself 4 times, so we have 255 divided by here we have 15. So here we have a simplified form to this given problem, or we can use other methods, and this will be change everything to base 2 from the start, and this gives us 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power 8, then divided by. Also here we have 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 4, then minus here, this gives us 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 4, then divided by here we have 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power 8. That is, here we can multiply the power and this becomes 2 raised to power 16 over 2 raised to power 12. Then minus here also we have 2 raised to power 12, then over 2 raised to power 16. Then from here we can apply the law of indices that we have here. So this becomes 2 raised to power 16 minus 12, then minus here we have 1 over. 2 raised to the power 16 minus 12. That is, from here, this will give us 2 raised to the power 4, then minus 1 over 2 raised to the power 4. And this, here, 2 raised to the power 4, here we have 16, then minus 1 over 16. Then bringing this together, STM is 16. Then we have once 1 is 16, that's 16, 16 times 16, that gives us 2, uh, 56, then 16 is 16, here yeah, 1 times 1, that's 1, that's minus 1, then this now equals to 2, uh, 55 over 16, which is the same thing with what we have in the first method. Thank you for watching, don't forget these steps, subscribe to my channel. And turn on the description there. See you next class and bye for now.